So this is just showing what the workshop looks like. So I've just come to start the weekend's work. And yeah, board's still on the windows. So I usually leave it, cover up the car like that. That is the transfer case under there. Yeah, just to give you an idea of what the, the workshop looks like. I built this mezzanine level up here for storage not so long ago. Bits of an old car up there. My dad's Austin Heaney. All the racing numbers on the underside of the bonnet there, underside of the boot, which is pretty cool. But yeah, that is the workshop. So I'm a little bit confused about two items I have left over from fitting the transfer case to the main gearbox. It is a stud with a bolt on it and a standard bolt. Now the bolt, that bolt doesn't fit, um, it doesn't fit any of the three bolts that are inside here, inside the transfer case holding the transfer case onto the main gearbox. But that said, I'm making a note of that because I've only put three in. I can only see three. Um, this looks identical to that stud there, but I can't find anywhere, and it's not these, because um, that doesn't fit in there. I don't know where these two go. That's obviously a bolt left over from a stud. Um, I've got that there, which is obviously, I'll have to have a look for that. There's probably a holder for the um, for the speedo cable. But I just at the moment can't see where that goes, which is a bit worrying because I don't like having bolts left over, studs and bolts left over when when I don't know what they're for. So I've got this uh, new selector cap or dust cover for the um, for the transfer case. My one was just um, rusted through, unfortunately. I did try and repair it, but uh, had no luck. So there are a few dents in it, which I'd like to try and sort out before I paint it. So I'm going to heat it up with the blowtorch very gently, and then put it on this uh, broom handle, in fact, and just with a with a wooden mallet, just try and gently knock those those dents out. So that dust cover, cover um, for the selector forks on the transfer case I've sort of taken out, whoops, taken out the dents as best I can um, and actually the forks are much thinner than the uh, the holes so that fits perfectly well. Before I paint it I thought I'd make up a, um, a template for it like a gasket because it hasn't got one, doesn't really come with one but I thought you know might as well stop the, uh, stop the damp getting in there so yeah. So I've installed the petrol tank, uh, having you know, put a good few coats of paint on it. And I've got the fixing set from, I suppose it's Brit Park really. Bolt under there, which is a special bolt with um, rubber bungs. And on the front there, oops, are the three, three bolts. Uh, this is a, a replacement tank, which I bought, because the other one was, I don't know, the other one doesn't look too bad actually, but uh, I thought I'd start a new, uh, not that this is new of course, but I've um, I've cleaned it out. I put a load of gravel in there and swished it around for quite a while. So that cleaned it out and I've put, that was my, um, well that was my fuel pipe off the, off the car already and I, I don't know what this is called, it's a pickup or something. Um, the tube that goes into the uh, bottom of the petrol tank because that one had a, uh, my one had a, a gauze over it which was original and sort of filters the petrol as it goes out. Uh, this one was from the replacement tank. Put new gaskets in 
and oh, and I've put in the, the fuel line, which is cool. I haven't put a new one in, I just took the one from my car. And, uh, hang on, I'm just doing a video here. And then put the new fuel line in, which was the same fuel line that I took off the car. So, that's that.